Welcome to my lecture online. Well, things are beginning to look a little complicated because as the number of carbons in the chain increase, the number of isomers increases exponentially. So when we're dealing with octane, there are 18 isomers. Remember, isomers means that they have the same chemical uh, components, but they have a different structure. So the chemical formula for octane would be C8H18. So every one of these has eight carbons and 18 hydrogens, but yet they all have a different structure to them. Starting with n-octane, that's simply the linear chain of octane with eight carbons, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Remember when there's an even number of carbons, the chain does not have a complete set of these triangular shapes. One of them will be incomplete. For heptane, there are seven carbons. Notice there's a complete set of those triangular shapes. That's how you can tell the difference between a chain that has an even number or the chain that has an odd number of carbons. In the first three examples here of isomers, besides the linear form of the n-octane, is one that has a single metal group, one attached to the second carbon, one attached to the third carbon, and one attached to the fourth carbon. We can go to the fifth carbon because that's actually the third carbon counting from the other direction. So we end up with two methyl, three methyl, and four methyl heptane. Heptane because there's seven carbons in the chain. Methyl because it's a single methyl group in each case. Going on to the next set of isomers, notice now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all of them which have a chain of six carbons, therefore they end up in hexane in each case. So one, two, three, four, five, six carbons, but these have two methyl groups, two metal groups, two methyl groups, here two methyl groups and two methyl groups and two methyl groups. There's only one of those, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them that has an ethyl group. The other six all have methyl groups. They all have two of them. One connected to the second carbon, one connected to the third, the second and the fourth, the second and the fifth, the third and the fourth, the second and the second, the third and the third. So there's six of those. All of them are called dimethylhexane. The numbers in front indicate where the methyl groups are connected to. The final seventh one is still a hexane because there's six carbons in the chain, but there's a single ethyl group. Of course, remember that an ethyl group is a C H2, CH3 group connected, in this case, to the third carbon counting from the right. It's the fourth from the left, but you always indicate the smallest number, so it's the third carbon from the right. I could have drawn it on the third carbon here from the left, but it doesn't really make any difference. It's the exact same structure. Then we go to the next group of isomers, which are pentanes, because they only have five carbons in the chain. We have one, two, three, four, five, six of those. Notice that here we have three methyl groups, two at carbon two, three, and one at the third carbon. Here we have three methyl groups, two at the second carbon, one at the fourth. Here we have three methyl groups, two in the third, one in the fourth, and here we have three methyl groups on the second, the third, and the fourth. So those are the only four that consist all of three methyl groups connected to a chain of five carbons called a pentane. Then we have some that have a combination of an ethyl group and a methyl group. We have an ethyl group connected to the third carbon and a methyl connected to the fourth, which looking from this direction is the second, so we call it... They're here? Yeah. Oh, coming in. We'll be right there, coming in. Be right there. Okay. Gonna finish this? Okay. Okay, we'll be right there in a minute. Okay. So, um, one methyl group connected to the second, counting from the right carbon, and an ethyl group connected to the third carbon, no matter which direction you count from. And then here we have again an ethyl and a methyl group. Both of them are connected to the third carbon, regardless which direction you count from. So this is called 3-ethyl, three 3-methyl three pentane. And finally, we have one more, the 18th isomer, where we have a butane chain, meaning there's four carbons and four methyl groups connected to them. Two to the second carbon, two to the third carbon. So we call that 
3,3 tetra, because there's four, methyl butane. And those are all 18 isomers of octane. And you can try any other combination, and every single time you'll end up with something that you already have. These are the only 18 of the set.